And we're on the move again. What city are we going to? To Rome. To Rome. We save the best for last for Italy. Well, the most historical for last. I yeah. loved all the cities we've been to. Yeah. Except for Bari. <laughs> <Is that>? uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's gonna be our new home base for like next, the next three days. Yeah. This feels like it's become a normal part of our life. We sit in a train station, we each have a croissant, and a small cappuccino or espresso. How's the croissant this morning? Do I look as tired as I do? It kind of looks like I'm like dragging you through. Like it looks like I haven't let you sleep in like 48 hours. Look at my hair. I'm not here against my well being. <laughs> okay, well, we can't use that. <laughs> Alright, we are in search for our first Roman dinner. After a really long nap that we took. I'm pretty tired from everything that happened last night. A lot of traveling yesterday. Yeah. Or I guess this morning. Yeah, technically this morning. And then a few hours today on the train, so just trying to catch up on sleep. Yeah, but now we're off to go have dinner and see some sights. Probably just have dinner. Yeah, off to find dinner. We didn't know um, how to read the menu, <laughs> so the server actually just picked our dinner for us, and he did a really good job. I yeah, think. he did a really good job. We just told him to pick his favorite things off the menu, and he did I it. I think uh, Chvio got like a spicy... It was like a spicy pasta. Everything yeah. here is like pasta or pizza most of the time. Yeah, and I got a prosciutto pizza, and it was yeah, pretty good. Yeah, they put a lot of prosciutto on there. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a long day tomorrow exploring the Colosseum. I'm super pumped for that. We're gonna yeah. go to the Vatican. We just have a really long day in Rome, so. Yeah. Call it a night. Call it a night. <laughs> you ready? Yeah, let's go. So, first order of business, we're going to the Colosseum. I'm super excited. Mm -hmm. It's only a um, half mile away, so that's not too bad. We got immediately distracted uh, by this cool park across the street, and there's this big ruin in it. And what did that used to be? So it's known as the Magic Portal or the Alchemy Gate. And there's a legend that um, a pilgrim came and was hosted here for a night. Mm -hmm. and that he went out in the gardens to find a mysterious herb to help him make gold and that overnight he disappeared through a portal and left behind a few gold flakes and then a mysterious paper full of symbols. The uh, marquee of, the, of this villa mm -hmm. um, had the symbols engraved on the five gates around it hoping that one day they could be translated. It's pretty crazy. Yeah. Real life alchemy. It's like Harry Potter stuff. Now it's just a castle for cats. There are a lot of cats here. Yeah, there's a ton of cats. They have like an entire cat well, sanctuary up there. It's really cute. It is really cool. The more you know. The more you know. We got talked into a uh, tour. Yes, we did. So we're Thank gonna you. do that. Yeah, very touristy. <laughs> it was a good deal, though.
That tour was great. Yes, I'm so glad we paid for it. It ended yeah. up being, uh, it was like 35 euro each. Yeah, so it's like a little over $80 but in total. Completely worth it, I think. Yeah. That was, the guide was like hilarious. Oh yeah, our guide Lumi, it was like yeah. this no-nonsense lady. <laughs> she was so she funny. She was just, oh my god. She kept talking about how like, uh, <laughs> Disappointing it was that the gladiators, I guess, were kind of chubby and overweight. They weren't like these ripped guys. But she was so knowledgeable. She knew about everything, and it was really cool to go walk through the Coliseum and the Forum. Yeah, she had so much history knowledge. It's currently 95 degrees. Yeah, we're going to go get some, some food. In some shade. Yeah, please. some shade. We got lunch, finally ate a salad for the yes. first time in a while. Fun fact, salads are more expensive than pizza in Rome, which is why you see us eating so many pizzas. They actually are though, they're like 10 euro like on the low end for a salad here, and a pizza's 7 euro. So, um, anyway. what was your favorite part about the Coliseum? Now that we're in the shade, we can <laughs> talk about it. Um, I didn't know that the entire floor of the Coliseum they used to replicate the environment that these exotic animals came from. Yeah, they'd actually like go through the trouble of like recreating a jungle on the floor uh, and they, then yeah. let loose tigers and stuff. Uh, it also was not gladiators who actually fought any of these animals. Gladiators were seen as like celebrities, like a famous footballer or something. They would let specific hunters in to kill the animals. Another fact that I didn't know is that it used to have um, kind of like a canvas roof over it. Yeah, they could actually draw a roof over it for shade yeah. because it's hot as crap. Speaking of... It's the hottest part of the day right now, uh, and we have some work to do. We're going to go back out later tonight, mm -hmm. but uh, for now we're going to go back to our flat. Alright, we finished up some of our work. I have a really bad sunburn. <laughs> I really need to wash my hair. <laughs> we're off to go see the Trevi Fountain and get some dinner. We finally had a healthy dinner. Mm -hmm. We got um, some chicken and potatoes and a salad. Yeah. And it felt really good not to eat pizza again. <laughs> it was seriously really nice just to not have pizza and pasta and bread for once. Uh, and then we saw the Trevi Fountain and that was really, really cool. It's the biggest fountain I've ever seen. Yeah, and it was really crowded. I think there's more people here than we saw at the Coliseum. Yeah, it was nuts how crowded it was. We kind of, that's like prime time though, I think. Yeah. It's nighttime. So. And we had the, there's a police officer there yelling at everybody. <laughs> yeah, he got his whistle and told them to stop sitting on the fountain. So. so, don't sit on the fountain. Now we have a mile walk back to our, our flat. Brainer. Wow, we just got pooped on. Yeah. Huh, we did get pooped on a little bit. Me? Yeah. We did, in fact, just get pooped on.